guys, Yvette here, and I am the Witch of Little Creek. And yes, you're going to see this tank top quite a few times. Yes. I'm doing a lot of things all in one day. Am I putting them, squishing them together? No. But I'm going to separate them out so that y'all yeah, are not bombarded by all the uh, deck walkthroughs that I make. So. And, uh,. This is, these are just my first impressions of the deck. Once I work with them, I'll give you my opinion on them. And I'm thinking of doing a favorites. I actually, um, after this, I'm, I'm going to actually upload. I don't know why I haven't done it. There is not a favorites video in my channel. Like, on my channel, I have not ever done a favorites video. And I need to. I don't think I've ever done one. I mean, I've done hauls. And suggestions, suggestions of books that I like or whatnot, and decks that I like, but never done faves. I think it's time to do one. And my first one. So, so today's video, it is a flip through of the or a walk through of the Tarot Illuminati, a uh, group that we did back. And let's get started. This is the book that comes in it. In color, guys. Cards in color. Yes. Yes. And I'm going to pull out the back here. The uh, box is um, magnetic closure. Um, it's got a ribbon in it. Most of the time, I take out this little paper thing and keep the ribbon for something else, which I don't do. But yeah, it's, it's just a cover. This one's pretty well stuck stuck in here. And I just can pull, like, you just have to be careful when you pull it out. It, it can be pulled out and put back in. So you can use the box just as is. But there's the over there. It is the Ace of Pentacles, actually. Let me put this here. And let's start with zero, guys, as always. Okay. There's the four. The dog looks like he's pushing him over the damn edge. Like, move it. Just keep going. Just jump. Take the plunge. Do it. I'm right behind you. Here is the alchemist, but uh, he looks like Santa Claus. This outfit is Santa Claus-y looking. You know, I, I no, I'm, this is not my favorite one, but. The priestess is the cover of the box. I do like the vivid colors in, in, in this deck though. And here, this is what the backs look like. Totally reversible. Glare. They have a glare. So, a little shiny. And this deck is made by Eric C. Dunn. Companion book by Ken Huggins. Hudgens. Hudgens. I'm going to say Hudgens. Let's go with that one. Uh, the, uh, the Hierophant. It looks like he's got an attitude right there. This makes it's very judgy. The lovers. It's a chariot. See, he's pushed back, and the horses are way in the front, and it's like a long road ahead of him. That's what I get from that one.
Pair strength with the infinity above. But the infinity looks like it's a snake. See, almost snakish like. But I like I like the strength part. It's just looks like she's just hugging the lion. There's the hermit. Justice. And Death. Temperance. Oh, guys, there's a lot of deaths that I bought that I need to walk this for. Two more. Two indie decks that I haven't done walkthroughs for yet. That's the, the Moose Tarot and the Light Seer's Tarot, which I'm going to add to this. I got those back in uh, 19, 2019. So this is the Devil. It's an unusual looking Devil. So. Muscly. Okay, stiff, he's a weight lifter or something. The tower. Oh, that pretty much says chaos right there, but what the fuck? All hell just broke loose and you're fucked. Pretty much. You know. The star. Star. The man. Dog and a, a wolf and a wolf and a dog. A wolf and a cat. A wolf and a what is a mouse, rat? What is what's happening right now? But there's a piece in the middle. There's a sign with a creepy baby. Huge. There is judgment. I like that angel. Judgment. The world. The ribbon is not a round woman. She is straddling the ribbon. It's interesting. I see my youngest in the background. He's looking for a snack. Are you looking for a snack in the Jade Jordan? Are you looking for that? Here's the Ace of Cups. For what? Oh, we're getting some jello. So we got it. I got him some Kool Aid jello. Oh, he likes it. That's my baby. I get him pretty much all the snacks that he kind of likes because he's the baby. I mean, I buy my other boys snacks too, but you know. A big I have uh, he so he's one of my special needs boys. Then my oldest one, I have one both here. My oldest one is uh, also special needs, and he sometimes y'all sometimes hear him. He's the one that usually interrupts me too when he comes down. But this this one that just was here getting his little jello. He's pretty popular. He's he's like a little parrot. Just pop, 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 pop. Just like oh, just like that. Like today I was at my wits end with him because <laughs> I was trying to study and he kept bothering me. I was like, kid, I'm trying to learn this stuff. You know, I'm trying to pick this up. I'm, just like, oh, I'm trying to uh, I was trying to um I was doing some readings. I was working with the tarot. Uh, right now, I'm working with the Centennial Mini. 
because I'm uh, I am an I'm an intuitive reader, but like I said, you also it's also good to learn the keywords and the knowledge of the tarot. So I want to be able to combine them both together. So that's what I'm doing. I'm actually trying to grow my intuition or enhance my intuition, make it stronger. So that's what I'm doing right now. But if you get interrupted all the time, like today I was interrupted every single minute of the day. And it's not easy for readings. Like I, I, for me it is, it's like, for me, my mind gets cloudy. It gets bombarded with all this, I'm, with all these thoughts like jumbled up in my head and I can't concentrate, so. Two of Pentacles, one of the Pentacles, guys. Again, I suck at introducing the seeds. This morning I was sitting here activating my altar, because I know I'm on data. And out of the corner of my eye, I pray. Don't mind me really like right now, we're gonna do this right now, because I'm about to start working and learn it. So I got online and started doing what I needed to do. I didn't get any interruptions, which is good. I was what was that? Six of Pentacles. The art the one thing I can say is that the art in this deck is small. Like right now I have to push it like really close to the camera so you can see it, but it's really way in there, like smaller than usual. Seven of Pentacles. It's a good looking Seven of Pentacles. Come here, ladies. Eight of Pentacles. And this goes into Princess of Pentacles. Instead of Page. Prince. My son gets out tonight at about eight or nine. Ace of Wands. And the Wands now, guys. I like a lot of different genres of music. I always have a mix playing. When I set up my playlist, I always have shuffle because I just want to be surprised if what kind of song is going to pop up. I never know. I hope I'm not going too fast for you guys. I might be. I always think I'm the ticket. I'm at 14 minutes. I always think I'm on my damn phone. Right now, I would have to be letting you guys go. She's got a pen on her mouth. Ace of Swords. 
sweatsuit. She's like, I don't want to know. I don't want to know what's going on. Just like me, I didn't want to know what's going on with that truck, that car, and that man. Mm -hmm. And my son's job. I don't want to know. He has swords. Not that the four swords always have praying hands, and I'm assuming that's because they want you to know that they're alive. That they'll just be stuck that way to their death and death. Rigor mortis. Kind of a bad looking nightmare for her right now. And of course, I can go for it. I don't know why I feel like this dude has to be here holding a turkey leg or something. Medieval times. Just saying. And of course it comes with two extra parts. And that was it. For the toe and the Minati. Hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.